Hi, and welcome to Code Corner. My name is Ryan Mayfield. I'm the founder of Mayfield Renewables. And this is a video series that we do to talk about codes as they relate to solar and solar plus storage installations. Today, we're going to talk about the 2020 National Electrical Code, the supply side connections section, which is 705.12, and then specifically going to dive into 705.12 B33 and B34. So these are the connections on bus bars. We had a part one where we talked about B31 and B32. So feel free to check that out if, if you have questions on those. But we're gonna really focus in on these two code sections for this for this episode. So first let's talk about what is the code language? What is 705.12B33 talking about? And this is an allowance or this is a uh, an ability for us to take multiple power sources, in this case, our PV systems, and aggregate them together in a single box, in a single combiner. So very often you'll hear it referred to as an AC combiner panel or an AC aggregation panel. And what we're doing is we're taking multiple power sources, in our, in our case, again, PV systems, aggregating them into a single output so that we can have a single disconnect, a single point of interconnection to the utility. This is done on residential systems. You'll see it on microinverters, for example, very, very common application. You'll take multiple breakers for different branch circuits for microinverters, put it into a single box, and then have a singular point of connection. Same application as, as what we're going to show you in the next slide on a commercial application. And what the code says, this is a little different than B31 and B32 in the sense that when we're adding all of all of our all of our different uh, breakers in this case, we're using the rating of the breaker. We're not using the rating of the system output. It's the the rating of the breaker is what dictates this calculation. So you see that language here. The rating of the overcurrent device protecting the bus bar shall not exceed the rating of the bus bar. So this is both loads and sources. So let's go ahead and take a look at a picture here and. What we have in this case is we have a commercial system. We have multiple, in this case, we have five different inverters and we're wanting to interconnect those. And we see that we have a supply side connection on in this case and for our, for our interconnection to the utility. But what we're looking at here is this AC combiner panel. And what this code section is saying, 705.12B33, is that the sum of the breakers, both source and loads, cannot exceed the bus bar rating. So if you look at our, our five inverters, the rating of those breakers is 150 amps. So we have 750 amps of source in this case. We have a load that we're showing on here, 40 amps of load. So add all those together, 790 amps. We are under the 800 amp. We could actually have a 50 amp load and still be in compliance. It would be the rating of the bus bar. So we can have up to 800 amps worth of breakers inside that panel. Now, the note that was in the language, the code language, is that you have to put a label on there saying, you know, the sum of the sources and, and loads can exceed the bus bar rating. So you'd have to have a label on here saying, you know, the sum of all those breakers can exceed 800 amps so that somebody behind you doesn't come in and see a there's an open spot on that panel. I want to run a new motor circuit or something like that. And they drop in a hundred amp breaker. Uh, that's That would not be allowed per the code section here. So this is a very useful code reference that we, again, use both residential and commercial. And it's become quite uh, universal, I guess, in its application. It's been around in the code for a few cycles now. So this is something that you, know, you can definitely be using and should be using in whenever you have multiple breakers, multiple branch circuits, or multiple inverter output circuits that you need to combine. The other section I wanted to talk about today is B34, and it talks about center-fed panel boards. So in dwellings, so this is very specific to residential applications, we have a lot of panel boards out there, existing panels, main service panels, where it's a center-fed panel. And if you go back and talk, 
look at what we talked about with the 120% rule in B3.2. Um, it talks about having the source of power on the opposite end of the, um, excuse me, the the power production source, our PV system, that interconnection has to be at the opposite end of the utility source when we're utilizing that 120% rule. This is what this allowance is saying is that we can still utilize that 120% rule even if you have a center fed panel board. And what it's doing is, so here's an image to help illustrate this. We have a, a utility interactive inverter. It's a residential uh, system. We have a 200 amp bus bar protected with a 200 amp main service disconnect, but that main service disconnect is in the middle of the bus bar. So which is the opposite end? If you were to try to apply 705.12 B32, the question is, which is the opposite end? Uh, and so what this code section is saying is pick one. <laughs> you get to pick either the, the bottom half or the top half, and that's where you can put in your PV system interconnection and you can apply the 120% rule, but you only get one side or the other. You don't get both. So this would be a perfectly good way of going about and doing that interconnection on a center fed panel board. So thankfully, you know, code has you know, stepped in, put this in. So now we don't necessarily have to go, or you don't necessarily have to go through and do a service upgrade uh, in order to be able to have a truly opposite end of the bus bar. So this is an option. Some some locations, some geographic locations, there's a ton of these. Others, there's just really not. So it really just depends on what you're running across. But again, it's dwelling units, and we get to choose one side or the other to apply that 120% rule. Okay, so that wraps up this episode, uh, talking about the 705.12, B33, and B34 on the connections interconnections for bus bars. We cover this and other NEC topics in great detail in the education workshops that we provide, both in person and online. Our team also does system design and engineering, as well as consulting for PV and energy storage manufacturers and EPCs. So feel free to give us a call or visit us at mayfield.energy if you'd like to learn more about how we can help you.